last. All right. So, uh, can you just put yeah. me through one or two things that you learned from the last class? Okay. Okay. We did. Uh... Okay. We solve question on Jeremy Airline Limited. Okay. Can you walk me through the basic steps? If you okay. are facing an exam, what will you do when you see the question? Okay. The first thing is to determine the global income. All right. Then also determine Nigeria. The second step is to determine Nigeria income. Yeah. Then the determination of uh, adjusted profit. Okay. After that, then uh, determination of, uh, after the adjusted profit, determination of adjusted um, profit ratio. After um, adjusted profit has been determined, we now use it to determine the adjusted profit ratio. Okay. Before then, the next one is determination of depreciation ratio. All right. Think if we are to find the tax payable, we'll now do if it, if the company is up to if the company is a large company, we use 30% on Nigeria income or on Nigerian what? If it is a small company, we use 20%. If the if the um, turnover is not up to 100 million. We use 20%, but if the turnover is above 100 million, we use 30% on Nigerian income. I think I missed something in what you said. Uh, if it's a, okay, okay, better, what, what, another person can answer actually. What is the, what are the three classes of companies that we have, right? Three classes of companies that we have, and how do you identify them? If you are not willing to answer me, I may be willing to call somebody to help me. Right. Do we have anybody around to tell me the classes of companies that we have and how do you identify those companies? Okay. Uh, Udoka. Is Udoka in the class? Mr. Udoka. Yes, it's okay it's in the class. Okay, I was asking that how do you determine a um okay, how do you determine it? Uh, what are the three classes of companies and how do you determine each of the classes of companies that we have? Okay, I wasn't here the last time you took the class. This is my first time actually. Okay, that's but fine. um in respect to tax, we have um um tax threshold for large companies whereby the revenue is above um the gross income or revenue is above 100 million that's whereby they pay 30 percent then for smaller for smaller companies that's whose revenue is between 25 million to 100 million they pay 20 percent and for those that are not up to 25 million um, the pay zero tax. Okay, that's fine. Thank you very much. So I, okay. So uh, last class, were we able to treat? Uh, okay, we were able to do uh, also unit trust scheme in the last class, right? We we're able to determine the tax liability of a unit trust scheme. So the next thing we would be doing would be for us to determine the the uh, the tax liability of a bank, right? Let's go straight to the tax liability. Determine the tax liability of a bank. So, like we have this okay. bank, are you with me, please? Yes, we are. So. Bank is not uh, too different from all that. Okay, sorry for that. Yeah. Uh, so let's move straight to 
taxation of banks. So tax are subject to the same tax in the same way with other incorporated companies, right? And uh, the only difference is that banks generate their, their income through interest income and investment income. So their major model of getting revenue might be different from the other conventional uh, businesses, right? Now, it should be noted that banks would also file the annual returns just like other companies. Uh, like the conventional business whose accounting year in the 31st December, they're expected to file the annual returns before 30th of June. I mean, all companies whose accounting year is 31st of December. And by virtue of both year and CBA regulations, all banks are expected to have 31st December as the accounting year end. So what that implies is that um, all banks should then be expected to file the annual returns before 30th of June of the following year. And don't forget that all banks must present their financial statement before 30th of March, right? That's when all banks would be expected to present their financial statement to the regulators. So let's look at how do we determine the accessible profit and tax liability. The accessible profit and tax liability of banks and other financial institutions are determined just like the normal incorporated companies. But then we have to look at what are the tax incentives and other tax provisions that are made available by the tax laws in respect of, uh, uh, of, of determining the tax liability. First is that any time the bank grant loans to some bodies then and the uh, the loan is according to the provisions of bofia and sita then there was something called grace period meaning that any income that's earned from interest on such loan will be tax free in other words we consider them to be tax exempt items now let's look at that table. The table is that if uh, the loan is above seven years um, of repayment, including moratorium, and the grace period is two years, that means for a period of two years, there will be no interest and there will be no repayment of loan, then there's 100% uh, tax exemption on such income that is generated from such a uh, loan. When the, 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 when the loan begins to pay interest. I don't, you get what I'm trying to explain. Yes, sir. Okay. When it is released seven years, and the grace period is 18 months, that's one year, six months, then it means interest income from such loan would be, would be, 70 percent exempted from tax it will be 70 percent exempted from tax if it's within two to four years and the gross product is 12 months then the interest income will be 40 percent exempted from tax and if it is below two years the interest income and the gross product is zero the interest income will be fully assessed to tax, meaning that there's no exemption on such income. Are you with me, please? Also, any interest on loan granted to manufacturing companies will be exempted from tax. Are you with me? Excuse me, please. Hello. We are with you. We are with, we you. Are with you, sir. Okay. We can hear you. Okay. But there, there, there are two caveats to that point. The first caveat is that 
a manufacturing company must export at least 50 percent of its produce out of nigeria and must not re-import them back to nigeria are you doing and also there must be certificate issued by nepc that's nigeria export promotion council so you, there must be a certificate of export granted to such company. Are you with me? Let's move on. So, any interest on loan that is granted to such company will be tax free or exempted from tax. Also, any interest on loan granted to a manufacturing, I mean, an agricultural business or agricultural business shall be exempted from tax. If there is 18 months moratorium, if there's at least 18 months moratorium, that's um, 18 months grace period, right? Also, we have uh, any dividend definitely will be treated as tax exempt items or bank investment income. Interest on loan granted to a bank. I mean, interest alone granted to a company engaged in fabrication of local plants, machinery and tools shall be exempted for tax. If at least 18 months, 18 months moratorium is granted. Are you with me, please? Yes, sir. Then we have allowed expenses. Number one, I mean, these allowed expenses. Allowed expenses must pass the test of rent. That's only reasonably exclusive and necessary. For these allowed expenses, number one is interest on non performing loan is disallowed. Interest on provisions on other assets or account receivable. Or yes, or increase in provisions for other assets or account receivable is also disallowed. Increase in provisions on advances on that finance list is disallowed. Increase in provision in either impairment of asset or the possession or diminution in the value of the investment is disallowed. Increase in provision for gratuity is disallowed. Unrealized exchange loss is disallowed. Increase in provision for off balance sheet engagement is also. Any question, please? Any question, please? Any question? So, in the absence of any question, uh, let's let's quickly um, solve this question. Can somebody assist me to read? Countrywide Bank Limited has incorporated for has been incorporated for many years and make up its account to and make up its account. The following uh, okay, I make up its account to. 30th of 30th September of every year. The following information was extracted from the audited financial statement of the bank. 
for the year ended 30, September 30th, 2016 and 2017 respect, respectively. The following additional information was provided. Capital allowance claimed was three million three million five hundred thousand. Income from banking operations included interest received on agricultural loan. Please go ahead. Hello? <laughs> Income from banking operation included interest received on, ag on agricultural loan amounting to 9,500,000. A break of the interest is as follows. Period of loan, moratorium and then amount of interest. That's all I, I can see on the screen. Sir. Okay. You are required to compute the tax liability of the bank for the relevant year of assessment. First of all, thank you very much for reading. God bless you. Yes. First, first of all, uh, the first thing is for us to determine the year of assessment. Uh, for the sake of repetition, I know everybody in this class will be conversant with the fact that all companies are assessed to tax on preceding year basis. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Now, so it means this company will be assessed to tax. We have the for 2017. And we will be assessed to tax in 2018 year of assessment, right? Yes. So we have. Country wide. And uh, what we are doing is computation. So in from Tax liability for twenty nineteen year. All right, that's one. So let's move on. So look at that. Right. So we have um, net profits.
Are we all together, please? Yes, Hello? Sir. Yeah, Sorry. Sir. Okay. So, like, just the normal conventional, I don't know what's wrong. Okay. What was wrong? Slowing down. All right. Let's start. What's the net profit? We have 240, right? 937. I'm sorry, you made an error. You wrote 260 instead of 240. Are we together, please? So net profit, right? We've determined the net profit. So add disallowed expenses, right? So let's check. We have depreciation here. So depreciation is disallowed. Let's take that out first, right? We have some duties paid on landed property. Do you understand? Hello. Hi. The network from your end seems to be very bad. Uh, is your network bad? Yeah. yeah, the network from your Very bad, end. Very bad, Very bad. I'm not hearing anything. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes, you understand what is on the screen. So we
Hello. Hello, can you please, uh, can Shaki not make me host? I cannot share my screen again. Hello. Hi, we are with you, sir. Can somebody, can Sekinot make me host? I do understand, sir. Can you please make me host? You are a co-host for this meeting. I cannot okay. share my screen again. Okay. Please, I promise you. So you can probably send her a test. Maybe she can hear you. I mean, she can see the test and respond. I don't know. I guess that I should make him post. And I am the host now. I'm thinking I think on participants and make our tutorials. I'm on it. Thank you. I don't, I'm not the host. So he said we should make him host. Okay, thank you very much. Come together, please. Come yeah. together, please. Okay. Yes, yeah. yes sir. Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Sorry for that break in transmission. Okay, sir. All right. So the next thing we don't deal with after we've dealt with um, the it's allowed the expenses to deal with our, we should less the non-taxable income. Sorry about that. This profit on sale of fixed assets is not part of it. Sorry, it's not part of it. It's actually a non-taxable income. So we have uh, right. So we have less non taxable income, right? Are we together, please? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now we have a loan table here showing that the income from bank operations included interest received on agricultural loans amounted to 9.5 million. A break of the interest is as follows. We have over seven years with, with two years moratorium, right? 
and the amount of interest is 3.8 million abi and don't forget that according to what we read we notice that if the loan if the moratorium period or the grace period is over two years then such amount is not taxable right so we have interest so let's come to our working work notes let me say Workings. So we have one. My working note one is for me to determine uh, the non taxable interest, right? Interest income so i have grace period which is we have uh, amount of interest tax relief rate non taxable Here we have two years grace period, right? The amount is sorry. Here we have So here we have two years, right? The amount is three eight hundred. Please confirm at any point if you cannot hear me. Uh, we have here hundred percent, right? So non taxable interest here will be three thousand eight hundred. Here it is 18 months. Right? For 18 months, we have Can hear from here. Can't hear you anymore.
Not hearing anything from my side, you. Hello. Hello. <coughs> this was going on now. Can somebody address us? Hello, I'm here. Can you hear me? I can hear you, or Gunja. Okay, that's fine. Can anybody confirm if they can hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I had issues with my network. I just tried to I can connect. Hear you, sir. I can hear you, sir. Please, uh, Sekinot, please make me a host mm -hmm. so we can call the apologies. Please hold please on. Make me... I'll do that now, sir. Yeah. Second art. Okay, well, hello. I'm with you, sir. I'll do it now. I'm on it. Hello. 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 Hi, I think I've done it now. No, no, not yet. No, Please make me host. No. What is your answer? Oh, to me, what is she? 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 Oh, thank Can you very you? much. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'm very sorry for the back and forth. It's not intentional. Please bear with me. So where did you stop? I was explaining that you will need 18 months, right? So but for one year moratorium, that's 12 months. 
the the relief rate is forty percent, right? The amount is how much? One thousand nine hundred. So it means you would have this times this, right? So, and for below twelve months or nil, we have nine fifty. Yes, zero. So you have this times this. Obviously, you have zero. When you do equal to you have six thousand five five five. That's non-taxable income. Total non-taxable interest. Are we together, please? Hello. We are with you, sir. We are with you. Taxable interest income. All right, so we have this. So we have this, right? We have this. So it means we have adjusted profit. Will be this plus this. I know this, right? That's our just rate profit. Is that correct? Then we have. I would like to know if you are with me, please. We are following, sir. So we have, there's no loss relief. So because there's no loss relief, this is also the accessible profit. Right? Then we have capital allowance. The capital allowance as a grid is uh is it three thousand five hundred. Right? So we have total profit. Right? So now we have C coming income tax. We can hear you. At 30%. That's. And then we have education tax. Education tax is now 2.3%, sorry. Your tax is now 3%, but for the sake of this class, let's use 2.5%. We have total tax liability. Tax liability. All right, any question, please? Any question, please? Do we have anybody with any question or questions? Do you have any question or questions? Can you please ask me now? Yeah, any question, please? Hello? Can you hear me? 
we can hear you. Why did you decide to use 2.5% since the education tax is now 3%? Yeah, uh, actually, I don't expect the examiner because it is 3% based on Finance Act 2023. Uh, so I really do not expect it to be examinable for October diet. But from next year, it will be 3% from the examinable document. But based on Finance Act 2023, it is 3%. Any question? Any other question? Do you understand everything we have here? All right, so in case of any other question, let's move to second illustration. So let's do uh, question 11, illustration 2, next one. Please, can somebody do it? She never put, but I don't want to see anybody up. I'm stuck. Come on, shut up. Come on, keep that and get away from there. Keep it. Where do you tear it? Why do you tear that? Go outside there and know that. Can somebody read for us? Okay, don't worry, I'm here. Mama, I get out, get out. I don't want disturbance. Mommy is doing something. Go and get notebook. Not that go and get it. Can somebody help? Yes, sir. Question 11 Sparkling nine, Sparkling Bank Limited. Okay. The net profit of Sparkling Bank Limited for the year ended 31st December 2014, as reflected in the account of the year, is 254,000, 254,350,000, including. 150,000 naira profit on sales of fixed assets. And after charging director's remuneration, 3,500,000, depreciation, 25,970,000, donations to Aboda Community Development Fund, 130,000, for Tarkot House Club Project, 95,000. Recreation Club, 251,700. Institute of Management Fund, 250,000. Easy. Magayon Church Building Fund, 5,000. The capital allowance and balancing allowance were agreed at 33,000. 33, million four hundred and eighty thousand eight hundred and eighty naira and two hundred and nine thousand four hundred and ten respectively the balance sheet extract of the company as at 31st december 2014 way paid off share capital 270 million statutory reserve 181 million eight hundred and eighty thousand General reserve, 131,520,000. Long-term loans, nil. You are required to calculate the income tax liability of the bank 
taking income tax rates to be 30 percent per annum. Okay, so let's go ahead. So the first thing is for us to start from uh, the net profit, right? So let's start. Competition of uh, Twenty. Yeah. Right, so let's start. Mm -hmm. For every question you start from net profit, you could also have the same result if you start from the beginning. But for this, we will not start from the beginning, we also start from net profit. So let's just quickly. Okay, so we have net profit, right? Net profit is how much? We have net profit of two five four three fifty, right? Then we have add this allowed. How much is this allowed at expenses? Cheesy Terry. Cheesy Terry. You push should be careful and stop that noise. Be careful and stop that noise. Ijoma, please mute your mic. Ijoma, if you can hear me, please mute your mic. Yeah. So we have it here. Yeah, we have uh, direct we have depreciation. Depreciation is how much? Twenty-five nine seven. We have legal charge. For this old. You are seven three three. 
we have donation to community development fund development that's uh, 130 we also have um, port accord port accord house club project that's 95000 the figure for legal charges for leasehood is not correct. It's seven two two three twenty. Seven two two point three. So we have recreation club. Right. Town club is two five one point seven. We have our institute of management fund, right? An institute of management fund is 250. We also have building Mount Zion building fund. Mount Zion building fund is 5,000. Do we have any other disallowed expenses here? Do we have any? So we have this. Yeah. Yes. So we have less on taxable on taxable income we have a uh, profit on sale of fixed assets Yeah, yeah. That's. Oh my God. Yeah. That's 150. Right? And we don't have another one, so we have. Right? Then we now have uh, what else do we have? I think that was all about the non taxable income. So that was all about non taxable. Income. Then what we would have next is total profit. Sorry, this should be my adjusted profit. Pardon. So since there is no I have capital allowance. So capital allowance is how much? Can you all hear me, please? Yes, sir. Capital allowance is 33.88 and balance allowance is 
Any questions so far? So we have two, two problems. Two problems to just be this. So they said we should assume that to come in contact. That's 30%. Times this, and then my education tax, education tax. Going to be the total tax. Don't forget, like I explained in the last class. Non resident companies are not subjected to CIT, I mean, to tertiary education tax, beg your pardon. Non resident companies are not subjected to tertiary education. Any question? Uh, I have a question. Okay. Yeah. Oh, um, I used to see a place whereby they would write return two over three or something. Can you please explain that one? How it's okay. okay, restricted to the total of accessible profit. Mm. Yeah, all companies are usually um, going. I mean, all companies, uh, apart from manufacturing and agrolite businesses. I mean. Yes, All companies, apart from manufacturing and agro-led businesses, are expected to uh, to, re um, to relieve their capital allowance to the tune of the total accessible profits. The reason I didn't introduce that in this question is because let me show you what you see most of the time. This is what you see here. You see something like. Uh, restricted to our ex let me explain with illustration two over three of accessible profit accessible profit or you can also see it as 66.67 of accessible profit they are saying the same thing 66.67 percent of accessible profit or this is O number two over three of accessible profit. All of them are saying the same thing. But the rule provides that capital allowance is supposed to be restricted to the total of accessible profits. In this case, for instance, you have the 3,690. I will come and do two thirds of the accessible profit here. So the company will be relieved at the lower of the figure here. Let me bold in it and put some coloration so that you get what I'm saying. So we we'll, at the end of the day, we'll compare this figure here with this figure here. That's the total of the allowances. So the company will be relieved on the lower of the two figures. Do you understand my point now? Uh, yes, sir. So that's why the two, two third of accessible profit comes in. That's where it comes in. But men looking at the 3,000 and 21,000, the reason why I didn't introduce it in the first instance is 31,000, 31,000 is not even, it's just barely 15%. So I know it cannot meet up with 67, 67% of uh, the accessible profit. Do you understand now? Yes, sir. Thank you. Also, the same thing, we check this. 
we have 235,000, 253,000, and 35,000. 35,000 is just, it's not even up to 1% of this figure. I'm not, it's not up to 1%. That's why I didn't even involve the rule at all. So there's no need for increasing the journey. But I will advise if the figure is near it to avoid the uh, gambling and all that, you compare the two figures to know which one is higher. But remember that the company will always be assessed tax on the lower. I mean, the company will be liberal the capital allowance on the lower of the actual capital allowance, which is capital annual allowance plus balancing allowance and future of accessible profit. Does that make sense to you? Yes, sir. Great. All right. Any questions? Any questions? Any question, please? All right, in the absence of any other question, uh, let me do this final illustration before going to insurance company. And obviously, in our next class, we move to the acquisition of oil and gas. So, that's What is it? And that is the almighty Wahala. <laughs> and the funny, oh, and the funny thing is, is, is the like simplest. Way. Honestly, it's the simplest. It's the simplest. Yes, it is. Okay, insurance when we get there, we... is the insurance is, uh, I, don't even, I don't like anything insurance. <laughs> in no, insurance, the funny thing is, you can, if the examiner is not a woman, you shouldn't test it. You cannot test insurance in your exam. Uh, the last diet, the last pass question is insurance, so number one. Number one was insurance. insurance. Number one was insurance. Yes, insurance. number last one diet. was insurance, and it was difficult. Wow. I saw the question. Uh, number one was insurance. I'm ah, sure it was I wrote okay, it let's and go. I did not pass it. Wow. But I passed uh, income um, financial tax analysis for insurance time. That's yeah, the almighty, sir. Is the, is insurance is very straightforward. Hmm? Just that, honestly, it's very straightforward. Very when straight I saw the question, when I saw the question, be that I'm, I'm at home, I can't, I can't solve. <laughs> The problem about insurance companies is that it's too voluminous. Uh -huh. I must tell you. The volume makes it a little, I mean, makes it a help us because uh, for you to deal with those multiple kind of analysis and figures is going to be difficult. When I did mine, they didn't bring insurance. Mm -hmm. I did That's mine two days ago. They didn't bring insurance. They are, they are messy. What do you say? I said they, I said they are messy today, though. But yes, now they are not. They are not. At okay. All. Let's get, let's move ahead with insurance <laughs> so we can move on. So the, the, the insurance or taxation of insurance companies is covered by section 16 of CITA. And uh, we have, uh, like we used to have for every other business, we have Nigerian business, which are resident companies and non-Nigerian companies who are non-resident companies. So we have two types of insurance. We have life assurance business, and we have the general insurance or the non-life business. Are you with me, please? Yes, sir. So also we have 
the reinsurance business the reinsurance business but then we are an insurance carry insurance company carries on a composite business the books of account to be kept separately from each other so you have the life assurance business book separate from the non-life assurance book uh, from the non-life assurance book I mean non-life insurance account do you understand so when we are what you are filing you are going to be filing two of those companies separately do you understand and yeah. also for loss relief uh for insurance company the loss relief before loss can only be carried forward for four years but mm -hmm. with effect from 2020 year about 2021 year of assessment loss will be car and with effect from 2020 year of assessment that's finance act 2019 loss will be carried forward indefinitely are you with me please yes sir any question no, sir, we are following. All right. So now the simple format to computing it is the for 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 non-life business, you have the gross income or the gross premium, less um premium to reinsurance and return to insured. Then we we add back other income. Then you less reserve for unexpired risk. And then you deduct all allowable expenses, including agency fees and fair proportion of the office expenses. Then you have a taxable income. Right. For the life business, what you have is very simple too. You have investment income, less management expenses, less commission. And then you have the taxable income. Can somebody help me send the last diet question to me? You can scan and send to me. I will be happy. Okay, sir. I'll look for the question and scan and send to you, sir. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. But your name, sir, so that I can look for it on the group. Okay. Mike. Okay. I think that's what you have, but what you have here is you look only for what you have on the page. Only. Okay, yeah. so I'm reading it. So, hello, can you hear me? Yes. All right, so we have a live business. When a non Nigerian company engages in live assurance business by carrying on uh, business, can you see my screen? yeah so life business so for when a non-life company i mean when a non-nigerian company that's a non-resident company carries out business you have investment income less management expenses less commission and you have taxable income now let's look at the nigerian company where the wala is real, real time 
for the Nigerian company, you have the non-life business, and to determine that you have the gross premium less the premium to reinsurance. So you have your net premium there. Then you add other income. Then you less provision for unexpired risk, which is restricted to 45% of premium for general, and less other allowable expenses, less claims from reinsurance companies, and your claim is restricted to 25% of total premium. Then you less total capital allowance, then you have a taxable profit. So the tax payable will be higher of the tax paid as per total profit, that's 30% of total profit, or tax paid on 15% of gross income. Are you with me, please? Are you with me, please? Please, I come again, no. I was saying that for resident companies, to determine the tax liability, you have the gross premium, less premium to reinsurance. Then when you less the reinsurance premium, what you have will be your next premium. And then you add your interest income. Then you have your gross income, right? From that, you deduct your uh, premium I mean, your, you deduct your risks. provision for an expired risk. I didn't get that. We are trying to call my attention. No, go ahead. Okay. So, I was saying that they will have the provision. What, what am I having? So you have the provision for unexpired risk carry forward, and that will be restricted to 30% of premium for general uh, for general uh, insurance, and then you less other allowable expenses, including claims. Then you less claims from insurance business, you less your commission. And your commission is restricted to 25% of premium, whichever is lower. So then you get an accessible profit. Then you deduct your capital allowance, and then you get your tax total profit. Are you with me, please? Yeah. And your tax liability will be higher of 30% of your total profit or 15% of the gross income. All right, so let's move on to the insurance business. For the insurance business, we have the gross premium. Then we have less premium to the insurance. Then we have the net premium. Uh, then we have interest income, other income, then you have your gross income. Then we have provision for an expired risk carry forward. It is also restricted to 25% of gross premium. Then you have your claims, which is also restricted to 5% of uh, 25% of total premium. Then you less transfer to general reserve, which is actually going to be restricted to 50% of gross profits or uh, 25% of gross profits. That's if your gross reserve is greater than the minimum authorized capital. Then you less your um, capital allowance, get your total profit. But don't worry, when we start solving questions, you understand it. Then life business also, you have your investment income, then actuarial evaluation surplus distributed, you add that to it, then you get your gross income. Then you deduct the general reserve, then you add back your life fund account. Then you less your net liabilities on policies. Then you now check your special reserve, which is the higher of 1% of gross premium or 10% of net profit. 
you also deduct management expenses, you have a total profit. And the tax liability will be either 10%, 30% of gross total profit, I mean, or 20% uh, or 20 of gross income. That's tax paid of, gross on income. gross income. All right. So let's go to investment income for life. So investment income for a life business includes income from investments such as dividend, interest, rent, royalties, lease premium, and other income. It will also include any surplus arising from actual revaluation of the reserves for unexpired risk. So investment income does not include premium received by the company from the assured. And it's also considered the difference between non-life and life business for tax purpose is in the treatment of premium received and claims um, claims payable. So in a life business, premium received and investment income are treated as income liable to tax. While in life business, only investment income is treated as to be liable to tax. So it's important for us to note that claims payable are liable expenses for non-life business but they are not liable for non-life business. I hope you get that. No, come again, please. I said claim payable are liable expenses for non-life business, but they are, um, I mean, they are liable for non-life business, but they are not liable for life business. For life business, okay. Also, okay. All insurance businesses are expected to file their annual returns, including the insurance broker. So, and insurance brokers will be expected to file their annual returns and also. If the, 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 if the insurance company engages the service of a loss adjuster, either they, by way of trying to edge their losses, then such loss adjusters should, should be disclosed their names and address. And also if there are insurance agents, such names should be disclosed, including the addresses. Okay, I have an option. If I want to solve this question, because we have three businesses here, so I may need to solve it. So three different, it's like three in one question, right? I don't know if you would permit me to solve this question first thing, these first three questions, I mean, these illustrations, first thing in the next class. Yes, sir. Let's get out. So before we then move finally to um, the transition of uh, oil and gas companies, Okay, sir. Do you understand, please? Yeah. Yes. But I hope with the explanations I've given about it, you are you already have a brief overview of the class or of what it will look like. Yes. So I don't really want to take much of your time. Because there are three different companies, the life, the non-life, and the insurance. And I want to sit on it very well and make sure you understand. So hopefully in the next class, I will solve it. And uh, I mean, I have three illustrations here. I will solve the three illustrations. I think it's better for, for us to go and read out. What is it? I think it's better for us to go and read our text too. So that when we come next, understand it better. Because those times, okay, those times are that we understand first. Before we start that. Thing. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Any question from the class? No, but sir. I have tr I've tried to check your number on WhatsApp. I couldn't identify which one is yours. Uh, 
Do we have many of you in the class in that group? Okay, you know what? I'll just I'll drop a message now. I will send this Excel file to the group. Okay. Okay. So then, I think that will aid your search. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. And also, you might want to use the Excel file for your personal study. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, sir. sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. God bless you. You too, thank, thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you, sir. Bye. Please, though.